Get a look at that view. I know that's not what we're here for today, but how can you resist having a look at that? Anyway, we're here today to have a quick look through the Klenovic, I think that's how you pronounce it, the hospital. So we're in zone B0, keypad 4 for those that use the keypad locations. Let's zoom in a little so you can have a better look at the hospital. As you can see, there are a lot of buildings here. Depends on what you want as to which buildings you're going to look at. If you're here for meds, which is probably a main reason for coming to the hospital, meds, bandages and the likes, the main building right in the middle is where you want to go. You'll comfortably fill a hiking backpack with meds and bandages from that one building. Most of the outbuildings, early game, it's a pretty good place to come. You can build up your cash reserves by filling your bags with meds and other bits and pieces you can find. You can find hairpins and safety pins to make lockpicks out of. You can find red screwdrivers. Probably a pretty good place to come before you go somewhere like the prison or the weapons factory. There's no lockers here, but there's plenty of other loot. Let's have a look, shall we? So we're going to make our way up. There's plenty of different ways into the main hospital. If you just want a quick start for a couple of meds, there's a pharmacy just here. And that building there you can get plenty of little bits and pieces in. Screwdrivers, padlocks, locks. It's the same with most of these outbuildings. There's workshops here. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them right now for you. I'm sure you can do a bit of exploring. There's a workshop and a, I think it's like a school building kind of thing here. Another one there, you can get all sorts of little bits and pieces in there. My favourite way of getting into the main building, this is what I'm showing you now. Of course, if you're on foot and not in a vehicle, it's even easier. It's quite easy to get turned about in the main building because a lot of the wings look fairly similar. So the main thing you want to do is take note of what part of the building you enter in. Now what I normally do, as you can see, we're on one of the corners of the build, main building here. Let's just have a look and make note of which corner we're on. So for those not particularly familiar with how orienteering works, we are on the southwest corner, as you can see. I'm just holding down my right mouse button for those who aren't aware of focus mode. It brings up the compass. How detailed that compass is depends on your survival skill. Mine is medium. If you've only got a basic level, you'll only have your north point. But you can work out which corner of the building you're on using, using that. Then pick any entrance point you like. I like to start as close to the corner as I can and go methodically. Running randomly doesn't really get you anywhere. Activated charcoal and painkillers straight out. Scissors, any of the scissors are great for cutting up rags to make bandages from or anything else you could want rags for. As you can see there's plenty of hospital clothes around to make rags out of. Antibiotics, always handy. Now you can see the cabinets with that look like they're open with drawers open and stuff. You can't search those, only the ones that are closed. So activated charcoal, if you're not aware, is for if you get food poisoning. It helps reduce the effects of toxins in your system. Vitamin pills, I don't tend to pick those up. They don't sell for very much. I guess later in the game, when... The devs introduce more use for your various vitamin levels. That's all this stuff over here. Like you can see, I'm low on vitamin D at the moment. Doesn't seem to have any of any real effect on the character. But you can use the vitamin pills to bring these up. But, as I said, they don't sell for very much. So I don't tend to pick them up. Five pack of bandages. Did we search these ones? Yes, I believe we did. It's 
too busy talking. Painkillers. If you get injured or you fall out a window, will tell you your character is in pain. The edges of your screen can go multicolored sometimes. I'll pick up the jar of vitamin pills and we'll see if we've got if we run out of space. So as I was saying, the edges of your screen can go funny. Multicolors, that's when you're in pain, when you're in a lot of pain. Your character can have issues. You can take the painkillers and it'll stop you limping. If you're going into somewhere where you know you're quite likely to get injured, like if you're going up against mechs, you think you might get shot, good time to take some painkillers before that so they're already in effect when you get shot. That tourniquet that we picked up, very handy, especially if you get shot by a mech. Put that on a C4 wound and that will generally take care of, obviously depending on your level of medicine, will take care of that C4 wound quite quickly. I'm not picking up the lackey band. What are they called? Rubber bands. I'm not picking them up because I don't need them. They are used in multiple crafting recipes. As you can see, I've only gone up one half of the ground floor and I've already half filled my hiking backpack. You don't normally see a lot of puppets through here. So it's a pretty safe place to come early on. That said, it's going to prove me wrong today, isn't it? Yep. I'd say because there's been someone in here before. That said, if you're looking for screwdrivers or bobby pins, always search any zombies, uh, puppets you kill. Yep, don't know if you heard that, but there was a couple of gunshots there. There's someone else here making a whole lot of noise. Yeah, all of these items I'm picking up, all these medicines, probably sell for a couple of hundred each. Pressure dressing. Almost as good as a tourniquet. Cafeteria. Let's have a drink while we're here. Yep, someone's already been through this bit. Antibiotics. If you're not already aware of what they're for. If you get an infection. One infection at a C1, your body can generally deal with without too much trouble. You start getting multiple infections, usually from zombie attack or puppet attacks. You get too many for your body to deal with all at once. Antibiotics will help deal with that. It'll boost your immune system up to ridiculously high levels. Something like 5,000% to fight off the infections. If you haven't been able to find antibiotics, the other thing you can use is garlic. We'll do this similar. Though taking the clothes off the infect off the wounds as they're healing if you're wearing dirty clothes which let's face it considering how dirty your clothes how quickly your clothes get dirty your clothes will probably be dirty taking them off any wounds will reduce the amount of inf infection you will get usually down to a level that your body can fight it quite easily someone has definitely cleaned out all this area 
Now I don't know if I'm doubling over where I've already been. Needles. I know I've passed up on a few needles. Combine them with thread or fishing line. You make yourself an improvised sewing kit. Good for repairing your clothes. Used in many different crafting recipes. Here we have the library, I guess. Any of these bookshelves, you can find diaries. You'll find hundreds of them in these bookshelves. Diaries are a very effective stack of 20 paper. Great for many crafting recipes or for starting fires, campfires and the likes. You can also find all of the recipe books. Yep, definitely been someone here. We didn't go through the lecture hall yet. There we go, the lecture hall. Many of the stacks of books on the floor can also be searched. Cooking books, you can find all nine of them here. There's stacks of books on the floor. Even these desks, all of them can be searched. Empty bags used in various crafting recipes. Usually for crafting a improvised raincoat or something along those lines. And then we'll go upstairs and show you the loft, shall I? Loft, attic, whatever you want to call it. Creepy ass place where everything's covered in bed sheets. Everything that's not crates anyway. There you go, look at that. Thread. Unfortunately, need more thread on the spool to be able to make a improvised sewing kit. Bedroll, if you need somewhere to rest. Various clothing items. Not quite sure what you would use the magnifying glass for. I'm assuming it's a crafting recipe item. Still haven't found a use for these glasses. Beer glasses. Plenty of rags and clothes. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. More thread. Thread and needle to craft an improvised sewing kit. There we go. And a Cuban cigar. Mm, yeah, Dennis Leary sang it better. More underpants. Someone's crusty old socks back there, as you can see. Here, we have Peaked Tower. Great view from up here. And occasionally get weapon parts and ammo and stuff up here. Now I'm just going to do a quick run back out again. When you're coming through the hospital, take your time. Make sure you do a thorough search of everything. There's plenty here. Be a little selective about what you take. Because you're going to get a bit of everything that you want. Make sure you take the time to admire the scenery while you're here. And my car should be just up this way. Being guarded by a friendly puppet. Thank you. There you have it, folks. The hospital. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future content. Share it with your friends. And leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like me to see do in future. Alright, Blue Dragon out. See ya.